Hey Dinosaur Kaiju fans, this is Ian Fairley here. This month we are going to review a dinosaur movie that was released five years before I was born. Which is no other than Dinosaur 2000. Now this is a dinosaur film that I loved very much during my childhood. I even grew up watching it. And I was fascinated that I got to learn more about dinosaurs. In other words... It's really cool! And here are the reasons why. This story mostly focuses on an iguanodon named Aladar, who was born and raised as a hatchling on Lemur Island by a mothery lemur named Pleo. As Aladar grew up, he notices that most lemurs have their loved ones. This reminded Aladar that he wanted to find another iguanodon like him on the island. But tragedy soon happened on the island when an asteroid bigger than Mount Everest crashed the Earth at a speed of 30 miles per hour. This causes Aladar and the lemurs to run away from Lemur Island. The lemurs that survived with Aladar were known as Pleo, Yar, Zinni, and Suri. Shockwaves and meteor showers wiped out the entire island, forcing Aladar and the lemurs to look for a new home in the late Cretaceous period. One day, they encountered a herd of migratory dinosaurs led by an Altirhinus leader named Crone and a sub-leader Altirhinus named Bruton. And I say Altirhinus because Iguanodons don't have horns on their snouts as concepted in the 1800s discovery where it was first found. But instead, sharp thumb spikes on each hand used for defense against predatory dinosaurs such as Neovenator. Anyway, Aladar also happened to stumble upon a female iguanodon named Nira, who was also Crone's sister. Which is kind of weird in a way because, well you know why. Aladar and the lemurs also met the dinosaurs in the back, a Brachiosaurus named Baleen a Styracosaurus named Ema, and an Ankylosaurus named Earl. Ema told Aladar that the migratory dinosaurs led by Crone are headed to this special place called the Nesting Grounds, which was referenced by the Great Valley from the movie Land Before Time. But kind of more different. Aladar and the lemurs face a struggling challenge in the migration because straggling dinosaurs left behind are fed to predators such as Velociraptors and Carnotauruses. Might instead of calling it the nesting grounds, why do they call it the sexting grounds? <laughs> Me, that's really not appropriate, especially for a kids movie. Um, guys, what is sexting? And moving on. The designs and animation in Disney's Dinosaur is splendid. Very splendid. I like how filmmakers created their own patterns of dinosaurs, especially the patterns on Nira. I believe Dinosaur became so popular that there was a toy Pachyrhinosaurus based on this movie. And the CGI animation in this movie is decent and breathtaking. I absolutely love and adore all the characters in this movie. Let's start with Aladar. The things that I like about Aladar is that he's funny and brave and caring and never gives up, no matter usually what happens. You know, the funny thing is, is that when I was a kid, I usually thought Aladar and the other dinosaurs that looked like him were stegosauruses. I really liked how Aladar kind of finds another way. He helped his friends find water during the dry season and taught the herd how to stand up to a Carnotaurus. And those are the things that I like about Aladar very much. I would also like to talk about the lemurs I mentioned earlier. For example, Zinni. Now I do find him funny throughout most of the movie. Like when, like when he was making the love monkey call, but also completely annoying sometimes. Don't get me wrong, he's still a good character. 
Zinni usually calls himself an expert of love, and that's not really bad. Now for Pleo, I think she's been a very supportive character throughout the movie. She has always looked after Aladar from when the day he was born. And she also cared for her daughter Suri. Now for Yar, I don't really have much to say about him, but I like how he is cautious when it comes to danger. And like Aladar, Yar has been very protective of his family. And for Suri, she's always been a playful character, even with Aladar. And she gets along with the dinosaurs and some of the other lemurs like her. Now the lemur designs in this movie were based on the ones from Madagascar. And I don't mean the Madagascar movie, but these lemur species in Madagascar. The island located next to Africa. Now the names are kind of hard to pronounce, but these are what the lemurs are based off of. Oh, and I gotta love Nira's design, with all the patterns and such throughout her body. She's quite caring for her young, and Aladar, and all the herd, and even his brother Crone, despite his attitudes towards Aladar. And speaking of Crone, I find him to be a bit, bit minor and a bit major of him as an antagonist because he's usually stubborn and mean and he doesn't want to slow down for anything that gets in his way. We'll get to know more about antagonists in this film, but right now I also want to talk about Bruton. He was a subordinate of Chrome during the migration to the nesting grounds followed orders from him all the time. I really liked how he changed his character when he was injured from the Carnotaurus attack, and Aladar and his friends helped him, helped him rest in a cave. Bruton also sacrificed himself for Aladar and, and the others that were not in the herd. We'll get into the villain soon enough, but Let's talk about Earl for a moment. For a baby in Kylosaurus, he's he's pretty cute. Acts like a dog most of the time. She even reminds me of dogs I have back at home. Or is Earl a male in Kylosaur? Mm, oh well. I don't think I really have much to say about Ema the Styracosaurus. But I believe she is one of the wisest dinosaurs in in this film. She could be a little sassy at times, but once you get to know her personality, you'll get to like her better. I also like Baleen the tall Brachiosaurus. Throughout the beginning, she was too afraid to, um, to be tough on others. Just like Aladar, she is very polite and kind-hearted. But throughout the movie, when Aladar and, his, and the group was stuck in the cave, Baleen had the courage to encourage Aladar to not give up, no matter what happens. And she, Ema, Earl, and Aladar pushed through the dead ends of the caves and found the nesting grounds. Now we are at the carnivorous villains of Dinosaur. I actually like what this film did with the Velociraptors. This is the designs look very accurate compared to the ones of, in Jurassic Park. Don't get me wrong, I still love Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. I'm just saying these Velociraptor designs look like they're from a documentary. Though I feel like they should have had feathers on their bodies. But the theories on dinosaur having feathers has not existed until 2001 when I watched that, um, When Dinosaurs Roamed America documentary. And one of the most main antagonists I like are the Carnotauruses. I like how this film designed the Carnotauruses with their lumps and red color on their bodies. My one problem though is that they oversized the Carnotauruses because, because this film was originally going to have a T-Rex but 
But apparently, T-Rex was overused in Jurassic Park films and every other dinosaur film. So they figured, let's add a new dinosaur that could be scarier than T-Rex. Which I really didn't mind so much because if they want to use a new carnivorous dinosaur, that's alright with me. Though T-Rex has been popular throughout the years, doesn't hurt to give someone else another chance, huh? The Carnotaurus in this film reminded me of T-Rex because of how short its arms were. Overall, I had a great experience with this film. The story, the characters, the designs, and the animations are very well done. Therefore, I would like to give Dinosaur an A+, and a Ian Fairley seal of approval. My apologies for not having any reviews done in a while. I've just been busy with a lot of YouTube requests. And I'm also still working on my two fan-made films. I'll try to get them done. Also, I now posted this three days after the dinosaur anniversary. My apologies. So in general, happy belated three day overdue anniversary to Dinosaur. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay tuned everybody. Peace.